Thanks so much for joining us for News 5 at 4 on your Wednesday. I'm Diane Derby. Following up for you, the Federal Trade Commission is continuing to review a potential merger between Kroger and Albertsons. They are two of the major grocery store owners in our area. Kroger owns King Supers and City Market. Albertsons owns Safeway. News 5's Brett Forrest reports on what customers can expect if that merger does go through. We're talking about Kroger and Albertsons merging together. They operate King Supers and Safeway here in Colorado. And as the Federal Trade Commission continues reviewing that potential deal, groups on both sides of the issue weighing in as a decision nears. Will it raise prices? Will it ultimately help consumers? Where is the competition to like lower prices coming from? I can't even be believe that they've gone up as much as they have gone up now. Prices are going to go up. But things go on sale and you buy things when they're on sale and if it's too expensive, you just find an alternative. Grocery shoppers sharing mixed feelings about the proposed Kroger and Albertsons merger, which would affect over 250 King Supers, City Market, Albertsons and Safeway stores throughout Colorado. For many years, I've been sounding the alarm about the rise of national discount grocers, Walmart. Target, Costco, Amazon, Aldi, Dollar General, Family Dollar, and Dollar Tree. This week, market researcher Scott Moses sharing an update on how it could impact our state. He was hired by Albertsons as a third-party researcher, agreeing with some economists that this deal can be seen as a path for survival, as market share for unionized chains like Kroger and Albertsons continue losing ground. In Colorado, it's the same phenomenon as we've seen across the country. Walmart, Costco. Amazon, Trader Joe's, Natural Grocers, Target, they're up 13%. Conversely, Kroger and Albertsons have lost more than that, lost about 14%. Any merger would affect not only shoppers, but employees. King Supers says it employs over 22,000 people in Colorado alone. The companies have previously said no stores will close and no frontline jobs would be lost. I think in this case, um, the lower prices that they're promising are more likely to be what we really see. Economist Joe Craig, who specializes in deals like this merger, says it's about surviving in the age where shopping habits are changing. But he adds there will be some ripple effects. There might be some layoffs, you know, specifically like drivers. You're not going to hire two different drivers to go to one, two locations that are, you know, 100 yards apart. And in a recent call, union workers expressing their fears that the merger will hurt jobs and pay despite company promises. Instead of spending all this time and money on a bad merger idea, they should be investing more in wages, training, staffing, hours, and reduced prices. As for a timeline with how much pushback this merger is getting, Kroger says it anticipates to close on the deal by mid-August this year. We recently saw the Washington State Attorney General sue to block the deal and federal officials urging the FTC to stop it as well. Here at home, Attorney General Phil Weiser held numerous meetings around the state last year to learn more about the effects of a merger. His office telling me today the review is ongoing. They don't have an update to share, but they'll be in touch when a decision by his office is made. I'm Brett Force reporting in studio, News 5. So here's a look at the grocery stores in Colorado Springs that may soon be under one entity. There are 10 King Supers locations scattered throughout the city, along with 12 Safeway locations. There are other grocery competitors in town, too, including Walmart, Trader Joe's, Costco, Sam's Club, Sprouts, Whole Foods, and Target. Time for a